I want to talk about the Rumpus Room Nope 1. Okay, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect example. <laughs> we embrace the fact that there are almost always children in any space that need to use their bodies in like big motor ways. Mm. And we call it rumpusing. Mm. I forget who came up with that. Mm -hmm. I know it's a, Let it's a thing wild in kids' books. Begin. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and so we have a space with mats and some semblance of not a concrete floor for them right. to have big motor movements and, you know, wrestling or, mm -hmm. you know, physical games. And we've gone, I think, all over the spectrum with how much supervision that activity requires. Oh. So as a, as a community, we, we believe ha that it's incredibly important for young people to have unsupervised time. Mm. And that's a commitment we share. And sometimes when they're engaging in these kind of big physical games, it, it can be really good to have a, someone there to hold the space for when there's someone gets heard or the group can't zoom out and look at what's happening mm. because everyone's just in it. And so we've had conversations about should the rumpus room have toys in it mm. or is that a hazard? Should mm. the rumpus room be supervised or can kids be trained to supervise? Mm. If kids are certified to supervise, how many kids can they supervise? Mm. And so I think over the 13, 14 years I've been here, it's been all over the map with mm -hmm. that. And at the moment, we ask the kids to get a staff person to be present in the rumpus room. But last year, kids could supervise up to four kids. Hmm. And so this whole like idea of risk versus hazard is something we talk about. And we're just so committed to the process of figuring out what's appropriate. And then if people have big red flags go up, which is what happened when the kids were supervising the rumpus room, we just changed it. It just can be kind of casual like that and just reflective of who's there. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.